Okay, there's almost a 300 elo difference. Dang. So I guess he's he's 300. Up. Oh, what what elo are you at? Roughly around here. Fifteen forty versus seventeen seventy five. Okay. All right. Um, Malay is a very good sieve too. I mean, Huns is great as well. But um, you know, I I'm a Malay fan. Okay. First off, we need to change the color to something that's uh, visible, like red. Yeah. So Huns. The good thing about Huns is that you're forced to go aggressive. So your map doesn't even matter that much. Like, you need to do damage. And you have lots of tools to do damage. Or, I mean, you have, like, basically one tool to do damage. It's just a very good tool. And that's the not needing houses. So each house is worth about 40 wood. If you factor in um, building costs, like the villager um, potential work time and stuff. So actually, you save a lot of wood. And 40 wood in Feudal Age is a lot, whereas you can say 40 wood later in the game is not that much. So this bonus is strongest in Feudal Age. Because, well, in Dark Age, you have a, a bit of a wood malice, so you're kind of making up for that early. But then in Feudal Age, it's just like straight up, you're saving like 40 wood compared to the opponent every time they need a house. So it's, uh, it's pretty good. Say that you build five houses in Feudal Age, that you're saving 250 wood there. And... Um, yeah, obviously, the attention thing, you don't have to think about it either. So, yeah, going aggressive is always going to be good. With Malay having free infantry armor, you can expect um, infantry potentially. So, trash rush against them is not always the most effective. And it can still be okay, but mm, it's probably okay to just play, like, scouts into archers here. Or even archers into scouts. Um, you probably want to be playing those stronger units, I would say. Yeah, no problem, KR Editor. Just hit 1,700. That's good. Uh, all right. So let's see how you approach this one. Yeah, mechanics are fine. You do want to get the Vils to chop the corner tile. Wow. Like, it's so crazy that he automatically went to this tile. Just the, the pathing is so bad in this game. Can't even detect that this tree is closer. And almost one hour in game time. Dang. Okay. Well, we gotta speed it through then. A little bit here. Um, okay. Walling the bills in makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah. This barracks doesn't make any sense though. Don't build the barracks in the back of your base. Definitely building it forwards way better. All right. Um, yeah, like, your buildings probably should have been placed like this. Barracks here, and then stable here. And then you can wall towards here a little bit. Just preventing him from going through this area. Th th these areas just don't really make sense. There's the militia that we were talking about. Went without loom. Okay, okay. But, but this is way too far forward, then. If you want to if you wanna be safe, just place it, like, here. Oh, we could have killed, like, one of those militia for free. What are we doing? That was a free kill. Dang. I'm gonna be paying attention to that. Anyways. Alright. Ooh, idling the TC. Why are we idling the TC to get out another scout? Okay, it better be worth it. You have to do something with these scouts then. Because we just basically deleted a villager to get the scout out. So, he better not be just chilling, yeah. He needs to go and do stuff. Opponent's got lots of stuff. Yeah, opponent's actually just doing the full trash. Makes sense. Why not, right? It's hard to counter. Although, that's why you need to do archers as a follow-up. Okay, where, where... Where are all your... You have four scouts, right? Where's the other one? Why is the other one over here? Aye, aye, aye. This guy should have been grouped up with these, for sure. But yeah, that infantry armor makes his um, spearman kind of unkillable here. Oh. A good player will just wall that in. Oh, we totally messed up there, but yeah, that was expected. Okay. And yeah, I don't think TC to get that scout out was just really not worth. You knew about this. Oh, no, you didn't scout properly. So you didn't know about the um, the range. You always want to scout the opponent's front. 
early feudal age to see what he's doing. You would have had a good idea. You see he's on gold. I wouldn't have expected trash. Yeah, at this point, you need skirms because you're kind of late. I mean, you have, you have, actually, no, wait, you have archers. It's not too late. Here, where did you, when did you get that range? Uh, it's pretty late. Um, looking, here, let's just look at the economy real quick. We got horse collar, which it's going to take a while to pay off. Generally, you don't want to get horse collar as huns just because you, you need to be doing damage. So you don't really, like, horse collar pays off kind of early castle age. It, we don't really have that kind of time. But. You were spending your wood pretty decently there, although we're starting to float a little bit here. Okay, we're going to go there. Um, you basically need a tower here. He's going to go take you off. Yeah, you, you see what he has now. You were way too late to scout this, though. Um, ba basically, like the reason you didn't even see this army coming forward is because you you were kind of like attacking over here, and you never even saw the front of his base. Like You, you didn't even explore here. So you have to check this so that you know what he's making. Um, he was able to just hide what he was doing because you just didn't look so it's really important um all right and he's gonna come forward so if you see this it's an army you can't fight right now um building skirms here is good but look look you you made like wait how, how much basically you've used this 28 percent of the time it's you, you made one archer. You've used it for 34 seconds. You made one archer. Actually, don't archers train in 35 seconds? Anyways. Um, 20. Basically, we're finally starting to use it, but we idled the range for so long. You could have had like five skirms. You could have easily converted all of this res into five skirms. When you just don't have the gold here, you should be making skirms because at least it's something. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, re really good. Yeah, yeah, opponent's messing up hard here. Could have gotten a few more hits there, but that was good. Killing killing anything is good here. Um, And he's not taking you off of the wood properly, so that's good. And now you, you might have enough here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He only has one archer and a, and a skirm. You have to be careful. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Just run. Just run. No, 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 no. Don't lose the archer. Bruh, bruh. This was, this was so pointless. That was such a that was a fight you didn't need to take. You pick off the archer and then what is he gonna do? So like think of his think of his army right here. Nothing can threaten villagers in this army. So like why do we need to attack it here? We don't. We killed the archer, that's the only thing that was really threatening. And then we just fall back until we have enough guys. We should have skirms coming. We're not making anything, though. That's the problem. Like we just didn't make anything. We should have we should really just have like six skirms already. Just basically with the um we idled it for like two and a half minutes almost. That's like six skirms. We just needed to have the idle or the uh, the archery range working this whole time. But uh, yeah, we definitely did not want to lose those archers. Okay, that's a lot of ranges. I think your problem isn't production buildings. The problem is just keeping the production running. I don't think we needed this many this many ranges. But we'll see. I guess you're floating a lot of res now. Ideally, you just have placed a tower, though. Like, placing a tower on the gold, walling this properly. Like, wall, wall to here, wall to here, and you're fine. There's, like, no hills on this map, too, around your base. That's kind of lucky, I guess. Matt! Oh, my God. Four, four years. Four four years? One more. That's crazy. Okay, don't fight up. Okay, okay. That, that move just made no sense. Look, like right here we have we have basically like the same number it's set, actually he, he just has one additional skirm as well like why would we ever approach up the hill here he has more than you and you're going up the hill that's what you do when you're outnumber the opponent but you don't do that move when you are behind somehow it's actually kind of working but not really you lost all the archers yeah i don't think that was great now nah, well the scouts weren't in there though the scouts were way back here like, if you're going to go with the scouts, they have to go all in at the same time. Walling like this, that's not Hun's playstyle. You know what's better than walling like this? Just placing a tower. If you place a tower, it's going to be just fine to buy back the stone compared to doing this. Like, how many walls are this? This, this walls are way too big. Pretty much never wall like this with Hun's. 32 wall pieces. So that's like 100 wood um, plus the villager work time. 
It's gonna be like 200 wood. I'd rather just place the tower and then buy stone if I need TCs. These walls don't even do anything as well. Like a tower is gonna be okay still going into the later stages, but ideally you just have like a TC down here or a TC on the wood, something like that. Watch, watch, like you, you're gonna have this and then he's just gonna have crossbowman and he'll still get in. Or if you had the tower, it would have still been fine. Anyways, layup timing's rough this game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're idling the TC way too much here too. Idling the TC to get out plus two armor is not really worth it at all. We have ballistics though, so that's pretty key. He didn't have ballistics here. Oh, blue messing up hard. Honestly, the power of the crossbowman here. Now we go. No, no, what are we doing? We're completely wasting the crossbowman timing. Oh my God. Dude, do something. Why are we standing here? Oh my God, you knew about his wood line here and we're just standing on the front of his base for like two minutes. Yeah, just go to the wood line where the vills are. We could have been there a long time ago. Like, let's see, when did we win this fight? We won the fight like, oh. won the fight like here? Like right here, right, right here when he has like five guys, I would never like try and shoot those here. You're already kind of going towards here, 2601. We're like still not over here. We send some cav archers over here, but that just alert, alerts him and now he just runs away. Don't use the momentum at all, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're kind of just chilling on the front. You killed his army, so rotating to the back a little bit can be okay. You know he has mangonels now, so your own mangonels are coming out though. That's a, the right decision. I like it. Yeah, yeah, this is a perfect decision, adding mangonels. This hill, if you can control this hill, this is really good. He controls the hill now though, so like, you can't push up it. Okay, not, not really worth. Uh, oh, we're just gonna add cav now? I, I don't think you need cav. That's just gonna take too long to transition to. We're already, like, we just need some more siege. Adding cavalry is just gonna take forever. It's gonna hurt the boom a lot. Okay, we have armor, but it was still no siege, or still no cav. Like, opponent could be putting even more pressure here. I, this is a perfect siege workshop, by the way, though. Like, on the forward hill. It, it delays them a long time, which is good. But, uh... We would love to have been booming a little bit more effectively here. Wheelbarrow could have been good. Bowsaw could have been good. Opponent is full committing on skirms though. That's good for you. I don't think he needed to play skirms here. Because Huns, they, they don't have um, Arb, right? So their crossbones sort of fall off late, whereas Malay has full upgrades on their Arbs. So I think he should have just kept playing crossbowmen. Even though he lost his initial mass, he sort of caught up. I think he overmade skirms here, um, which is allowing the cavalry to doing to do damage, which is kind of nice for you. Okay, now you go to the back and raid. Good. Nice. You can go further back though. I guess you don't have scouting, but still, this is good damage. You sort of caught up in the the eco now, somewhat. But ideally, you'd be on cav archers as as Huns. <laughs> what do I do when I see a castle here? Well, it's really like the stage of the game to go up. We're once we're at around 70 vils, we got to be thinking: okay, map control, castle center, and go up can be very good. You you can't really push your opponent anymore in this age when he has a castle here, and it's pretty late into this age, anyways. There's no point in making um, so many more. Uh, army at the cost of going up so going up is really important here but of course going knights here was really expensive which means that uh yeah your imp is going to be delayed because you went cavalry so yeah it was going like it worked to push him back but also it's going to delay your imperial age time so um it's not necessarily the best a few mangonels also would have done the same thing in terms of like pushing his army back, applying pressure. Adding the knights is just kind of a more expensive way to do that. And yeah, you can raid, but it's not necessarily the most effective way. And and now we're just wasting units. Now we're just throwing units. Um, yeah. Going imp, that's good. Opponent will be up first. Makes sense, but yeah, you need to get a castle central. It's super important. I like that you're making outposts. Both players play making outposts, so it's pretty good. Blue has crazy map uh, vision. Amazing. All right. Nice. 
Adding TCs is a mistake. Uh, well, yeah, you don't need this many TCs, that's for sure. <laughs> like, you already were almost full boom. So adding TCs here is just delaying everything. But, anyways, it should be fine. Opponent's gonna add Bombards. So yeah, you're gonna need an actual army. You're making Light Cav, but that's not a real unit. Like, we need... We need some actually good units. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't don't engage uh, Imperial Age unit without upgrades. And that's pretty bad. Yeah, don't don't engage these th that are have been Imperial Age for a long time, have good upgrades with Light Cab without the final armor. We're just wasting our army now. If we didn't waste our entire army there, I think we're fine. But now we're in a really bad spot. Yeah, yeah you couldn't deal with Bombard because you just lost so many army there. Um, at this point, if he's going just range units and, uh, and halves... Unfortunately, you sort of have to just play skirms here because your actually good units are not going to be able to deal with that. You have to play skirms that'll counter both and then try and get back in the game. You can now micro the bombards. Well, it's it's not really about micro here, honestly. It's just like we don't have enough units. We don't have the right units. We're like, look, look, we're just throwing our units. We just threw another thousand food. There was no reason to go there. Imagine if those light cav had gone like anywhere else too. We could have gone to the back of his base just running through here. That would be pretty good. Um, but yeah, Light Cav, like trying to pick off the Bombards when he has Arbs protecting them isn't going to work in low numbers like that. If you had saved up, if you had those in it, those previous 10 and then you had these 10 all at the same time, it's going to be good. But look, we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're literally just throwing any kind of advantage just for no reason. So I just need to take better fights. And that just comes with experience, makes sense. Okay, we're gonna have, uh, yeah, honestly, the cab archers are gonna be better at picking picking off the bombards, but uh, yeah, skirms was necessary. I like that you are hitting the, the trebs with huns, it's, it's kind of okay, yeah. Only because of your huns, though. It's, it's actually sick, amazing. Hun, huns is carrying you there with the trebs. Oh no, we're gonna donate them one, though. Oof. All right, yeah, we're kind of overboomed at this stage. Definitely overboomed, and we don't even have bow saw. Just completely forgot. No wheelbarrow either. So, like, we have full bill counts, but no upgrades. So that that's actually what's me making your um, eco so bad. We have too many bills and not enough eco techs. We need all the eco tech. Now we're going cavalier. Cavalier is just you just lose because he has he already has halves. If light cav aren't gonna do it, cavalier definitely aren't gonna do it. Because Cavalier is, is going to mean that you can't even upgrade your Cav Archers. Cavalier, like if you're if you're doing Cavalier late Imperial Age, you're probably making a mistake. 99% of situations. Oh, Cavalier opening, maybe can be okay. Cavalier, when the opponent already has Halb, you're wasting your gold. Opponent's just like losing a lot to, to the uh, castle fire, which is kind of nice. 77 kills on this castle. Yeah, opponent's not really controlling his army super well here. That's good for you. That's uh, that's a lot. All right, all right. I mean, opponent will have halves. The Cavalier, the Cavalier just won't accomplish um, anything more than the Light Cav will accomplish. So you're wasting your gold by spending on Cavalier. Um... Would have loved to have seen a, the heavy cav archer upgrade before. Before doing any kind of tech switching, you gotta fully upgrade your cav archers. We we need that uh, heavy cav archer upgrade. How do I deal with bomber cannons? Well, cav archers can can just pick them off. Like it's it's not an issue really. We just go cav archer light cav. It's gonna be good. But we don't have proper upgrades, and we wasted our gold on cavalier. Like yeah, we can't push right now. That's fine. We just fall back a little bit. And you just never have the army number. Like, the reason you don't have army number is partly due to your, your having too many bills. Your your composition was fine here, but we just had too many bills, so we couldn't make enough army. And also, just, like, you probably needed skirms to, to um, come back there. The opponent kind of wasted two armies, basically, under this castle, which was kind of lucky. But I would have expected you need, need Skirms there. Skirms sort of deal with everything that he's making, too. Obviously, you don't have the final armor, but it's still fine. I don't know. When he's full trash, though, Cav Archer and Hussar should just win. 
your biggest issue is just actually having too many bills and not being able to have a big enough army. And of course, like wasting the army all the time. Throwing army here and there is okay, but yeah. Actually, opponent's opponent's composition is garbage. Actually, you, you win this game here, don't you? Yep. Should be should be fine. The, the score is a liar. Your raids have been doing damage. No, you lose? Oh. What? This is like a one game from here. We have a perfect kill. We should be able to kill this. Like, you have a good composition here. Okay, well, if you lose, that means you don't have enough cal, cal archers. Imagine we didn't buy those cavalier and we had double the cav archers and we had heavy. Then it's an easy game. There's no more gold on the map. Oh, you didn't take relics. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty big factor here as well. Not taking relics means that you'll never upgrade these. Oh, we're losing our cav archers for free. Yeah, we just need to protect the gold units. We can't just like lose all the gold units like that. Now the game's over actually, unless we're making skirms from here. And even if we make skirms, it's kind of over. Basically your only advantage was that you had the better military, but we sort of threw the military there. And uh, yeah, we got to keep the military alive a little bit uh, better. Oh, he's, he's raiding with Malay Light Cap. Yeah, we were in such a good spot there, but just didn't spend the gold effectively. And that was the problem. Probably push this castle if we're if we're controlling this area. Going after this gate is definitely not useful. No gold, no relics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We needed relics. Basically, not having relics it means you lose at this point. I didn't even look at it. GG. Um, yeah, it was just not really spending the gold effectively. It had nothing to do with him having bombards. You, you dealt with the bombards just fine. It was just constantly taking bad fights and not upgrading your cav archers also not having eco techs was really bad too it was just more of like the stuff that's in the background <laughs> not not really um the obvious th stuff i guess but uh yeah um trying to get to that cav archer hussar com combination and then keeping the cav archers alive is what you need to do um so basically we didn't upgrade the cav archers properly and didn't have enough of them and also didn't make hussar because we made cavalier and just lost the units too many times that's the thing uh yeah things to improve on let's see well how did the early game go again this is a bit of a longer one uh don't like wall huge you can make a tower sometimes uh, ah, keeping that initial range producing. Like, you had the, the stable producing, but you idled the the uh, TC for an entire vill here to get one additional scout out, which didn't end up doing anything. Like, you really don't want to prioritize the stable production over villagers. So making sure that your TC is working in early feudal age, making sure that your, your archery range is working um, after the scout opening so that you can, like, constantly make units. Then you can keep the pressure... Blue didn't really capitalize too much. Making sure that you send your crossbow into the correct area. Like, you need to know... Your early scouting was kind of not perfect either. Like, you didn't really see that the opponent was making units early. You didn't see that he had the range here. You didn't see that he was making, like... Um, uh, you didn't really see this attack until he was at your base, basically. So you didn't really prepare for it super well. Once you won the fight here, you didn't send your archers right here. Like, they need to go here instantly. Because that's where you knew you had economy. So it was worth it to go here, but we never really went there. Um, let's see. Making a hard tech switch to cavalry was just never really good here. Basically, like, just making mangonels and switching to cav archers is all you needed. Cav archer mangonel? Going, going knights here was never really going to be that good because it's, it's going to be way too expensive. You go, you go cav archers with mangonels, you take this hill. If you can take this hill, you put a castle here and you just treb everything. Or if you can't quite take this hill, you, you just have this hill. And then you, like, if he has this hill, it doesn't even matter because you're on the higher, higher ground. So he might take this hill, but still, like, you put the castle here and then you have cav archer mangonels. You stop making mangonels and towards imperial age and then well now your cav archers are in big mass on imperial age you fully upgrade those then you add light cav then but you added knights to clean this up when you could have just added more mangonels and uh yeah that slowed things down a little bit 
So just try and focus on that late game composition that you want to get to and upgrade the units that are going to be really effective. Um, basically, you want to upgrade or you want to make the ranged unit mass earlier in this situation because, uh, well, the ranged units should always just be alive, basically. So they're going to get a lot of value. If you keep making them early, you can mass them early and then you can get value by not losing them. And then you add that me shield later when he gets to like skirm or or whatever. We also just kept taking bad fights with sending light cabin. Like if you just masked and then sent them in at the right time, then then you'd be fine. So maybe a little bit impatient with uh, taking fights a lot of the time. And yeah, I mean, this game was really just you needed to not forget your ecotex. If you didn't, if you didn't forget bowsaw, if you didn't forget wheelbarrow handcart early, you'd have a lot more res to work with. Uh, it was close though. I think you could have won this one at a few different stages with just some minor tweaks. Thought like will buy me time. Well, it doesn't buy you time if you send them to their deaths against the, the ARBs, though. 